tasty. I All like right. it even plain. All right. All right, Miss Olga. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Well, just, just put your hands in here. Thank you so much for allowing us to come here into your kitchen. And I know you are making the baked eggplant with mm -hmm. the zucchini here. So is this a special type of eggplant? Um, no, it's the regular, the round flask. It's, okay. not, it's not the long one. Right. It's the, the dark purple, almost black, round one. Nice. And so then in, so you slice these. Now, did you dredge, did you dredge these with any like salt? Did you let them sit or did you just cut them in Usually straight away? Usually they, they put them in water and let them soak so the bitterness comes out. I cut them in smaller pieces and then I either bake them a little bit. Yep. On wax paper. Okay. So the bitterness comes out or if I'm in a hurry, I can just like put them like in a pot with olive oil, like this pot here mm -hmm. and just run them through the olive oil once without frying them though on okay. very low heat just to get the taste of the oil and then just right. put them in here and then whatever oil is left i saute the zucchini uh onions garlic tomato and tomato perte, the paste afterwards tomato paste okay tomato cut up a small cut up tomato fresh one Got and it. a big tablespoon of paste and now you have a bay leaf in here yeah, and I also do that for flavor. Yeah, Got salt, it. pepper, maybe a bouillon salt. cube of okay. some kind, like a veggie bouillon cube or something. And then it looks and like cinnamon and cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. cinnamon! Cinnamon is always in this. Oh, okay, I, interesting. I use cinnamon in all my red. Stuff. What do you have over here? What's sneaking over there? No, that's just some extra. Oh, that's extra. Also. And then now, so I'm curious. Can we just talk here? Because this is right next to your stove. So I'm just oh curious. My God, it's a mess. Can, yeah, I know, but this, but this is classic and actually lived in. So what this are some? Is, uh, from a bush in my house. This is rosemary. Rosemary, okay, very typical. Our typical. oregano. Right, the wild, the, is it the wild Greek oregano? Oh yeah. Fantastic. This is, so much. This is like hand-picked You know, stuff. we have to special order this in Spain. And you that's, can go to the mountain and do it here. We, we get it ourselves and we just dry it out and amazing. it takes a while to. It has such incredible smell. Yeah, the smell. Ugh, it's literally, it's, perfectly, it's, it's, it's fresh. It's yeah. incredible. And whatever. Salt, and then, pepper, vinegar. Oh, wait, can you show me? I know we were talking the other day how you, you were telling me mm -hmm. how your father-in-law and your uh, husband's family, olive, yeah. they're the, the, you, you married into olive people. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have a little bottle of it that we could... I don't have a little bottle, but I or have... You just have I okay, have so there's your olive, olive, there's, olive there's oil. There's the typical... Thingy that I put in my food. But you nice. can see the color is really pretty. Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, look at that color. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's like and really it's like olive juice. It's incredible. I'll it's just leave it out for our salad when we cut our salad. Or fantastic. Our, our yeah, most uh, people have it like right next to the stove because we use right. olive oil for our salads, for our cooking, for everything. So. Of course. And then now, like you said, now we're moving on. So this is the horta. Horta, which is any type of wild weed. greens. Okay, greens, well, weeds. weeds. They're weeds, weeds basically. Wow. Yeah. They're literally weeds, but they're like edible weeds yeah that most people just like pass over don't even pay attention to but they're like i don't know like 15 to 20 different kinds of there's bitter there's sweet these are the sweeter ones okay these are vlita vlita yeah okay. each one has their name and know? then will you typically will you squeeze some lemon on there is that what you do or do you just at put the, the end olive? yeah some people like it I, I like lemon others like the bitter ones are good with vinegar too you can oh, do balsamic or regular nice Apple, grape vinegar, whatever you like. So in here in the water, do you have anything else with the water? No, just, you just put just in salt? water, salt. Water and salt, okay. That's it. And then you really, you clean the horta thoroughly because there's a lot of like stones and dirt sometimes. Right. So you have to rinse them really well and just throw them in here and boil. That's all. Nice. And then you strain them and add, it definitely needs oil. You need some really good olive oil to bring out the flavor and salt. That's it. Fabulous. Lemon or vinegar, whatever is, you know, whatever you like best. Nice. Well, I can't wait to try it later. And I know we're going to, on top of the eggplant, like we talked about, you're going to be putting some of that Greek, the vegan feta cheese. So I'm excited about that. We'll try that at the very end. This is, um, this is tipuro, which is a, like, um, I guess you could call it something like Greek moonshine. Really? It's distilled from grapes. Yeah. Nice. This is a gift from someone to my husband. Look at that. Yeah, she gave it to us, like, a whole little, like, box of... Oh, look at that. Yeah. All kinds of fun stuff. And there you keep No, your... this the, Yeah, I just keep my, my like, combs beans, in here. Yeah. yeah, that are, like, half done. Like, my lentils, lentils, my black-eyed peas and stuff. But Wonderful. this stuff is... Can you smell that? 
Ooh. I can yeah. absolutely smell it. That's it's some really strong, strong stuff. I think that'll probably put some hair on your chest. Yeah, it's strong, nice. But it's tasty when you and put there some we are. Ice in it. Yeah. I love grease. That's right. So, well, thank you very much, Olga, for letting us sneak into your kitchen. You're welcome. And see your delicious food. We'll try it in a little bit when the men get up. And the boys <laughs> wake up. The boys the get boys. up. And this is so. This is a typical. Is, is this something that would be typical? Is it more for lunch or more for dinner or is it or for any type of? Well, we don't look. Most people don't eat that heavily at night unless we have people over. We Got it. everyone usually does like a salady kind of thing or some right. kind of roasted or grilled meat with a salad if you're going to eat meat. Right. But if you're doing veggies, it's something. Sim I mean, this is considered a little heavy for nighttime. Right. You might. Do something like this in the form of a tapa, a mezze, like yes. you call. Yep, know? yep, yep, sure. You could take this out as a mezze with some cheese and some horta and tomatoes, cucumbers, but it's a little bit heavy for nighttime. Got it's it. better for afternoon. Because the afternoon meal, lunch is like the main meal right. here in Greece. So. Yeah, it's typical. Is that is that in the summer as well as the winter? I mean, is that the winter also yeah, or just no, the no, summer no, because of the heat? Summer too, because um, in the summer, instead of like two to three, maybe four tops. Lunch can be like five. Okay. Because people wake up later and they're on holiday or they right. get back from work and they go swimming. Right. And by the time they're done, I mean, they can have lunch at like five or six and have Got like it. a grilled cheese at the, at the, at the beach or something. Understood. Tie them over. So you're going to pop that back in the oven. Nice. Excellent. Well, we'll have, we'll do a still photo and show this later, a little quickie of us eating. I can't wait. Yum.